Hi, welcome to Throwback Thursday. This is a video about something that's a product that's been around since 1953, but due to recent acquisitions around 2014, it's being marketed in a little bit different way. Um, they're not paying me to make this video, but they did send me a demo, and it's something I was really interested in, so thanks, Mike. I really appreciate you sending that to me. Uh, when you look at this thing, uh, this is from LSI Lubrication Specialties Incorporated. Uh, that's their contact details. I'll do a link in the description. But as you see, it says powered by science. When you think of beakers and science, I also think of microscopes. And that's what makes this so special is it filters down to just a single micron. Uh, if, to give you an idea of how big that is, here's a chart with a human hair, a single micron, and then what other factory filters are filtering oil down to, which is only about 23 microns to 30 microns. So how is this thing, I mean, does this have like a little laboratory inside with all kinds of beakers and all kinds of uh, Bunsen burners? And, no, it's got some really rudimentary, simple, inexpensive, cool stuff, specifically cellulose cellulose is toilet paper <laughs> so you've got these really densely packed toilet paper rolls of really fine material now you're thinking paper why would I want to use paper as a filter that just seems ridiculous like it's gonna fall apart or something uh, well for one it's got screening and different things to keep that from happening now again with the paper stuff every filter in your car is basically paper your fuel filter is a paper element it's like a little cardboard paper thing with all these different rolls your oil filters paper your air filters paper pretty much all of the filters in your car are paper uh, it's got a handy tool to help pull this back out when it's saturated in oil and weighs a little bit more uh, pretty rudimentary, like I say, pretty simple, uh, but the whole kit's made in a really high quality way so that you don't have leaks. It even comes with a sealant to put on the NPT threads that go into your oil filter housing to get pressurized oil. It comes with an oil cap with a quick disconnect so that it can put it back in. So what it does is this is a bypass filter. You still have your factory filter and then just a teeny tiny little bit of oil goes into this. Look at the size of the hole on this just teeny teeny tiny it goes in through the middle uh, in through the pipe and then back down through the toilet paper and what that little trickle of oil is doing is it's taking all of the little particulate matter all the water antifreeze and all the little metals and things that go with an engine that's wearing or the carbon that gets past the piston rings and makes diesel oil so black it catches it in that toilet paper roll uh, can you think of anything better at just taking crap and getting rid of it, removing it from becoming an irritating, uh, wearing, grating, friction inducing type thing than toilet paper? So once you accept that and realize that paper in the presence of oil, gas, diesel, uh, air, whatever, it doesn't really affect it. In fact, I've been using a similar technology on my plasma cutter for the last three years and it's been awesome. This is what my plasma cutter filter looks like after three years it looks pretty awesome I wouldn't recommend running this for three years I'd run it for about 3,000 miles or so and then change it toilet paper is not too expensive by the way uh, here's what my air compressor looks like all the water and crap that that filter catches uh, is because I don't drain my air compressor as often as I should I know that's terrible and everything uh, I keep thinking I'm gonna replace it but it just never dies this is a great kit. It's so great, in fact, that they send you a little test kit so that you can see for yourself uh, through sending your oil into predictive uh, maintenance. Uh, you fill up the little bottle that they send you with. You fill out the little form and tell them uh, what the engine is or if it's transmission, gear oil, whatever it is so they know the way to test it and then for their experience you say how many miles or hours or whatever are on the engine and then how long the oil was used in service and by that they can give good statistical uh, information or advice on when your next oil change interval should be so if you go to cumminsforum.com I'm going to leave a link in the description for an article that was written by Gary Davidson uh, I believe he was from Oregon and he used this on his truck and the first one I think he did a 13,000 mile interval and uh, the oil came out basically like new. If you use a good synthetic oil like a polyalpha olefin that's 
thermally stable in the really cold or the really hot and then you remove all of the little teeny debris these little tiny things down to a micron uh, then your oil lasts a really really long time and you don't have to take my word for it they send you with a kit so you can get it analyzed so the way that this kit comes is with everything that you see here you've got the sealant you got the fittings you got the hose you got the clamps you need a utility knife and a few wrenches for the fittings but that's about it, it comes with two extra o-rings so you don't have to worry about ordering those they go right here and of course a clamp and a mounting bracket and all the hardware that you need to mount it to your fender firewall or wherever so if you've seen a clamp like this before if you drive a diesel and you ever look under the hood you'll notice that your turbo uh, your downpipe and your exhaust manifold all use the same kind of clamp. This is the kind of clamp that's easy to work with and just really holds on like crazy. Are you going to have to worry about leaks? Not with sealant, not with good o-rings, and not with a clamp style like this. Uh, you're going to be fine. You're going to be in good shape. So this is a great thing to do to your engine. It helps it last so much longer. It helps your oil intervals so last so much longer. Now why is this so good for your engine? The reason why it's so good is sludge is the enemy of your engine and sludge is that teeny tiny little particle stuff that your factory filter misses this bypass filter uh, running this teeny tiny little flow of oil through it basically takes your oil runs it slowly through this uh, into this middle hole it goes through this filter system and then it goes back into either your oil pan if you want to punch a hole in your oil pan which you don't have to or into your cap which is a really slick disconnect so you can unscrew it really easily without fighting that hose uh, put it back on like that piece of cake uh, piece of cake so long story short you don't get the sludge build up in your engine because all the sludge ends up in here it's just freaking genius uh, if you're going to throw a rod or do something like that it's either because you ran out of oil or because your oil became contaminated and blocked the flow of oil. If you keep that oil uh, flowing, you know, free of sludge, and you're just going to be in great shape. When I check cars out to see if I'm going to buy them or check them out for other people, I take the oil cap off, I look inside, and I look at the metal. I see if the metal's covered with like brown or nasty black stuff or whatever. That's the contaminants uh, from the build up when you don't change your oil on time. Uh, with this, you don't have to have drain intervals at the normal time because it pulls the stuff out of it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to leave links in the description uh, where you can find one of these. I'm going to leave a link in the description for the calculator to see if this is right for you. How much is your oil change? How many times a year do you do it? How many years do you plan on owning the car? You know, this is a really high quality, well-made kit. Uh, it's a little bit pricey. That's just the way it is. Uh, and then I'm also going to leave a link in the description for that CumminsForum.com uh, little article. Again, like I say, from Gary Davidson. You know, it shows the report that he got from Blackstone that basically says it doesn't matter when you do your oil change on this. It doesn't seem to matter. You added 7,000 miles to it and it's still just going strong. And that wasn't even from predictive maintenance, you know, which these guys are obviously paying money for this. Uh, that was from Blackstone, a different uh, independent laboratory. Bonus footage at the end. Hey Roy, how are you? This is Brian. Yes, sir. I'd like to do one of those France oil bypass filters so that I can run longer oil change intervals. How, if at all, would that affect my warranty? Your warranty states every 7,500 miles. Every 7,500 miles of doing a bypass filter is altering their, their deal, so it could void your warranty. After that warranty is all done, then you're, you can do whatever you want to this truck. Okay. Because, of course, there won't be no warranty on it, so you can do whatever you want to it. chip it, change the exhaust, whatever you want. Gotcha. Well, that helps a lot. I appreciate it. All right, buddy. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.